Trade Power is a company specializing in energy weather analysis and insights into the Nordic and EU power markets. While drought conditions across much of Europe are well known, Trade Power became particularly curious about a lesser discussed phenomenon called wind droughts. Through its research titled The New Normal, the company uncovered significant and poorly understood risks in the transition to sustainable energy. Here's the stark reality. Global warming is causing average wind speeds across the EU to calm down. As we move toward 2030 and beyond, we can expect more dry, calm, large-scale high-pressure systems to dominate the region. This creates a dangerous cocktail of risks for Europe's renewable energy supply. The question is, do politicians, business owners, communities, analysts and traders truly understand the scale of the risk ahead? The EU Green Deal is the European Union's flagship strategy to combat climate change and transform its economy into a sustainable, resource-efficient and climate-neutral system. Introduced in December 2019, it aims to make Europe the first climate-neutral continent by 2050. Its ambitious goals include achieving net-zero greenhouse gas emissions, decoupling economic growth from resource use, and ensuring a just and inclusive transition for regions and workers reliant on high-carbon industries. The plan focuses on clean energy, sustainable agriculture, biodiversity and transport, with over 1 trillion euros in funding allocated to support the transition. On paper, it's a bold vision. But as Trade Power asks, what if the EU Green Deal is a steady path to extreme electricity prices? Trade Power has identified critical flaws in what we call the EU Green Madness. The madness lies in the assumption that everything will go as planned. A seamless shift to electrification, coal and nuclear plants shutting down, and renewable energy sources effortlessly taking over. But the reality is far different. The warning signs are already here. On November 6, 2024, electricity prices in Germany surged to over €800 Euros per megawatt during calm, windless afternoon hours. These extreme prices rippled across the Baltics, Poland and southern Scandinavia. Did a technical error cause this? No. A deeper investigation revealed the true cause, an insufficient baseload supply in Germany. Ironically, when wind generation dropped, Germany was forced to rely on oil-fired power plants to meet demand. This fragile system, dependent on intermittent renewables without adequate backup, drove prices beyond expectations and exposed critical vulnerabilities in the energy market. The closure of coal and nuclear power plants has created a supply gap that wind and solar cannot fill during low production periods. On December 11, 12, 2024, German electricity prices soared again, exceeding Euro 800 Euro 900 per megawatt per hour due to low wind power. These high prices spilt over into southern Scandinavia and the Baltics. For now, high reservoir levels and the oversupply situation in northern Scandinavia have helped stabilise Nordic electricity prices, but this effect is temporary. In December 2024, warm and windy weather has hidden the price effect of a baseload supply that is too low. But into January 2025, we could see more proof. Arguments like, it's just a few hours of extreme prices can't be used. What we have seen is a taste of what's coming. As Nordic consumption rises toward 2030, the oversupply in the north will dry up. What happens when northern Scandinavia must compete with southern Scandinavia and Germany for power during calm, cold days? The extreme prices we saw could pale compared to what's coming. Trade Power's analysis, The New Normal, highlights a critical yet overlooked consequence of global warming. Wind conditions across Europe are calming down. This deviation from public research and mainstream narratives poses a severe risk to the EU's energy strategy. As global warming progresses, large-scale high-pressure systems will become more common, bringing dry and calm weather across vast areas of Europe. Wind power generation is expected to underperform substantially in the years ahead due to the increased frequency of low wind periods. What's even more concerning is the failure of offshore wind power investments. Many offshore wind projects are being delayed or cancelled due to expected low profitability and weak government support. 
For example, Sweden recently cancelled 32 gigawatts of offshore wind projects due to radar conflicts with Russia, while offshore wind auctions in the UK, Denmark and Norway have seen little to no interest. As demand rises toward 2027 to 2028, the lack of new baseload energy sources and offshore wind parks will exacerbate price volatility. Worse still, the EU Green Deal does not include contingency plans if planned wind investments fail to materialise or produce far less than analysed. Adding another 10,000 wind turbines will not solve the problem. Trade Power's analysis shows that wind often calms over large areas of northwest Europe simultaneously. The calm effect of global warming across the EU will affect even offshore wind farms in the North and Baltic seas. To be clear, global warming is speeding up wind on a global scale, but there are regional differences. What is the safest approach for wind power production? Go far offshore with floating wind turbines west of Norway, but even this requires urgent investment and planning. Within 2030, northern spot price regions like NO4 and SE1 are expected to become net importers. More baseload supply in the EU will be shut down. Without the oversupply from northern Scandinavia pushing prices down, the extreme price spikes seen in November and December 2024 will become more frequent and widespread. The energy market is becoming increasingly weather-driven. Cold, calm days with low wind and solar generation now dictate extreme price spikes, while temporary oversupply from wind, solar and hydro keeps prices artificially low for now. Predicting average spot prices is turning into a meteorological nightmare. Trade Power calls for immediate action to address these risks. Reassess baseload supply. Investments in reliable energy sources like nuclear or alternative baseload solutions are critical to stabilise the system. Support especially offshore wind power projects. Governments must create incentives to ensure delayed and cancelled projects are completed. Adapt market mechanisms. Germany and other regions must account for weather-driven volatility in their price mechanisms. Diversify energy sources. Europe cannot afford to rely heavily on intermittent renewables without adequate backup. Trade Power's analysis. If wind power is to remain a cornerstone of Europe's energy strategy, it must focus on far offshore projects where floating wind turbines west of Norway could provide more reliable output. The EU Green Deal's vision of a climate-neutral Europe is admirable, but its implementation could prove deeply flawed. Without sufficient baseload supply and realistic planning, Europe faces a future of extreme price volatility, energy insecurity and economic hardship. The time to act is now. Trade Power is committed to helping businesses, communities and policymakers navigate these challenges effectively. For decision makers to act, they need proof. A few hours of extreme prices are insufficient to cut cables or restart nuclear power plants. Trade power analysis shows that the roadmap up to 2030 may hide the risk of extreme prices until too late. If not fixed, too low baseload supply will make electricity prices increasingly disconnected from traditional price drivers like gas, LNG and coal. So, understanding the risks of the new weather effect and climate has never been more critical. Visit tradepower.no to access short- and long-term power market analyses for the professional markets. The company offers services also to non-professionals, such as communities, businesses and others, who need weather and electricity price analysis. In January 2025, a complete market analysis will be available at tradepower.no, including the new normal and short to long-term outlooks and the effect of the EU green madness. Let's head into the 2030s prepared. Together, we can make a difference.